everybody, my name is Brandon Levine, and in today's video, we are going to be quickly discussing uh, the automated forms conversion tool within Adobe Experience Manager Forms. Uh, this is a feature that leverages Adobe Sensei uh, to take your old uh, existing uh, PDFs or XDP files that were created in the designer tool, and it will allow you to upload them and automatically convert them over to a responsive adaptive form. Uh, so, uh, you know, very straightforward. Uh, again, uh, you will take your, you know, existing static PDF XTP files. Uh, you'll upload them to the tool itself. Uh, Adobe Sensei is going to go through. It's going to look at all the different fields on the form, and then it's going to print out or not print out, but maybe spit out a, a version of the form that you can then, you know, get a really good starting point on to maybe kind of touch up and finalize before it's ready to be uh, used in production. Um, as you can kind of see the illustration on the screen uh, where we have our PDF file, uh, once the conversion uh, has been set up, the, uh, the configuration for the conversion tool has been set up, then you can simply upload as many files as you want. You can do this in batch as well. So if you have, you know, 10 PDFs that you want to upload to uh, make an adaptive form out of, you'd be able to do that within the tool. And then, uh, you know, since it'll take a few minutes to produce a usable output. Uh, and this, again, is a great way for you just to uh, get a good starting point on the form. That way, you know, you don't have to fully re recreate the form uh, from scratch. Uh, You'll have all the you know the fields that since they identified on the form uh, already created for you, so that way you know you can go in and do some final tweaking uh, and any other necessary adjustments to the adaptive form. So to kind of give an idea of you know what a before and after could look like, I'm actually on the after right now. Uh, so let's uh, in this example we were working with a, a PDF. Uh, and you know this is a PDF three pages, I believe. Uh, you know there's a statement at the beginning, uh, just you know a disclaimer type statement. Uh, if we scroll down, uh, there is the form itself. As we can see, uh, quite uh, there's quite a bit here, and then continuing down to a third page. So uh, you know when we put this in Sensei, uh, you know Sensei took it a few minutes. And then, you know, the final outcome of this form is going to look like, or in how we figure it looks something like this. It's not going to be this perfect when it comes out. Uh, full disclaimer, don't expect Sensei to uh, make it look this, you know, nice and presentable. Uh, it's more so going to probably look like uh, just, it's going to have all the fields and it just might be laid out on a, you know, single page. So if I go into edit, uh, probably a more acceptable or or something, or just generally a more uh, general idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, we can probably switch over to the responsive layout, and it'll probably look something more like this. Uh, maybe not as touched up. You know, maybe the boldness won't be there, but generally, it's going to do a good idea to at least transfer all the different field types over, identify if they're text boxes or uh, numeric inputs can I also identify you know if they are extendable text fields and whatnot so again since it has gotten a lot better since it was first released in 2019 I believe uh, on converting uh, you know those old PDF and XDP files over to these adaptive forms again really the whole idea here is not to you know uh, you know the goal I mean in you know a perfect world is that since they would pr uh, produce a fully usable production ready form uh, that's simply just not uh, reasonable at this point. But what is reasonable is that since they will give you a great starting point on the form that you can then use uh, and start, you know, modifying to make it look presentable, um, saving you, you know, potentially several hours of having to, you know, recreate the form uh, on here. Great, so that's going to wrap up today's video on the automated forms conversion tool within Adobe Experience Manager Forms. Thank you all for listening. Please give this video a like if you liked it, uh, comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.